Friends and colleagues, it's a pleasure to present this preliminary report on eczema laser cataract surgery. Cataract surgery has advanced from intracap to extracap to endocap, and I now propose as an investigative technique endocapsular eczema laser cataract surgery. Eczema laser cataract surgery entails phaco ablation, which is ablative photo decomposition of the crystalline lens. This study was performed using the Lambda Physic 102 eczema laser system operating at 308 nanometers with xenon chloride. An optical fiber was used to couple the laser radiation into the lens nucleus. The experimental setup is here. Here you see the optical fiber fluorescing with eczema radiation. The probe is placed in the lens nucleus. May we dim the lights? Uh, this, will, this is a human lens, and an, an anterior capsulotomy is made with a 26 needle. Some helon is instilled to separate the cortical fibers. Here you see the optical fiber coming through a one millimeter incision. It's quartz silica. The optical fiber is introduced into this cataractus nucleus, and eczema laser radiation is used to ablate, to photo decompose the lens. Fake ablation, fake ablation, fake ablation and Eureka, the capsule is intact, the capsule is intact. Note the uh, histopathology. This is, a, this is a human lens, and these, the histopathology was done for me by Dr. David Apple and his group, Steve Hansen and Brims. These are exquisitely precise drill holes made with the eczema laser through human lens. So we must consider the, the pros and cons of phaco ablation as a new mod modality in addition to phaco emulsification. A small incision is afforded by the optical fiber. It's possible to go even smaller than one millimeter. It's less stressful to the zonules, and technically it's easier in my opinion. Here we have a, a rabbit uh, lens and note the ablation crater. Part of the crater is artifactual, part is real. Uh, in this zone, we see evidence of phaco ablation, and this other zone uh, is a control zone. The histopathology, and according to Dr. Apple, this is a totally new finding. Here we see uh, denaturation of lens material, denaturation and liquefaction of lens material. This is not described before, and here we have a control section from the same lens which did not undergo phaco ablation. Using a different experimental setup as shown here, uh, the ablation threshold was determined for bovine lenses, as you see on the right, and human lenses. The ablation threshold for bovine lenses is illustrated here. For cortex, ablation began at approximately 0.6 joules per cm squared. For, nuclei, for, the court, for the nucleus, it was one. This difference was statistically significant at the 0.05 level. For human lenses, the ablation threshold was determined to be 0.5 joules per cm squared. A phaco ablation delivery system is under development and a prototype has been utilized to combine ablation, irrigation, and aspiration. Endocapsular surgery, we think, is better because it affords endothelial protection, zonular protection, capsular bag integrity, and most important for the future, it will facilitate injectable IOL technology. Here we see excellent examples of the exquisite precision that we implant surgeons have always wanted. Now we can have it uh, with the eczema laser. This is a close-up of that particular ablation crater. There's minimum damage to adjacent tissue. You can go within a half millimeter of the capsule with the phaco ablation and not uh, rupture the capsule. 
As implant surgeons, we appreciate the art of medicine and especially the art of surgery. Thus, I share with you uh, my favorite work of art, which is Victoire de Samanthras, which graces the entrance, the top of the stairs in Le Louvre. I'd also like to uh, thank at this point the many, many people who have been instrumental in helping me with this work. First, I'd like to thank Dr. Danielle Aaron Rosa because it was in her lab that I did my first eczema laser research. Next, I'd like to thank Dr. Theo Seiler and Professor Wollensack because this work was done in Berlin. The work was done in Berlin at the Laser Medicine Center, and I need to thank Professor Gerhard Muller and Hassan Carr and uh, Klaus Dorschel. And last, I'd like to thank my mom, who stuck with me through thick and thin. Thank you. <laughs>